Hi friends, and welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about uh, uh, the lentil candle, lighting activity for children. And this is a very special activity for children. Helps them understand the seasons within the church. And so it gives them a great understanding of uh, the weeks that go, uh, starting from Ash Wednesday right up to Easter. And so this is a lovely activity to do with children. Um, and to help them understand all this, all the weeks that lead up to the season of Easter. So we're going to start with uh, doing our lighting candle activity, and for that we're going to need we will need a nice purple container, or if you can find paper plates, you can use paper plates. This is a picture of purple plate, but this is small, so I won't be using it. Uh, or any other container you can find to use for your activity, you can use and possibly get covered with purple color paper. So, this is what you can do. So, our first uh, item is to find a purple theme container and find a purple th uh, theme container an ordinary steel plate and then make sure you cover it with uh, purple paper so you, you can do that I'm going to be doing this because uh, my container isn't big enough so just use whatever you can find next item we're going to be using using my semolina which will act as sand or if you don't have semolina you can use uh, oats porridge that's what I have used in my activity or if you can find sand itself, I don't have any sand, uh, so you can use uh, food items instead. But if you have real sand, uh, you can use real sand for, for all you can find in your home. So just try and make do with things what you have. You're going to need eight tea light holders. Uh, that's to put your tea light candles in. Next thing we of course need are candles. We will be needing five purple candles, one white candle, one red candle, and one pink candle. So that makes it eight candles in all. Uh, the other alternative is to use an additional red candle for Good Friday if you wish to. But I am not doing this case. I am going to be using the red candle on the same thing for Palm Sunday or Good Friday. So I'm going to be doing that, but it is optional for you to use another red candle if you wish to do so. So we are going to be using eight candles in this uh, activity. And we're going to print the word Hallelujah. So we will use a printed sheet of Hallelujah to hide under our sand. So we're going to be using, uh, needing a printed sheet of Hallelujah. We're going to have a statue of Our Lady. This is a lighted uh, bulb which I have, but if you have real statue of Our Lady, you can place that next to your lengthy candle lighting activity. And then you're just going to need a simple crucifix. So I've got a little child's crucifix uh, for my child's baptism. So, um, so you just be using crucifix and placing it next to your lighted candle activity. So these are the things. We will be requiring for this activity so to start this activity we're going to take a stainless steel plate although I have a purple container here but I'm not going to be using it because uh, I've got some lovely tea light cattle holders which I like to use in this activity and so that's why I'm kind of sticking to my steel plate you can also cover it with purple paper if you have but I'm not going to bother with that um, then the next thing you've got to do is uh, in a container uh, you can use your porridge uh, I'm using porridge if you have sand use sand by all means so you need to next thing step two is st start to cover it and lay your ingredients there and start to cover it and before you do that remember I told you you need to have a printed sheet of a uh, Hallelujah. So as we're doing that, uh, we're going to start to uh, hide our hallelujah under 
and be the same. So what does hallelujah actually mean? Hallelujah mean it is it is used to give praise, thanks, uh, or or express joy to our Lord. So basically, it is uh, because we are entering the season of Lent, and it's a time of repentance, calling to mind all our sinfulness and asking the Lord, we are sorry for all our sins. Uh, so we, this is a time for repentance. So obviously, we can't rejoice very much in this time, especially when we are coming to before God with all our sinfulness. So that's why we will not be saying hallelujah in the season of Lent. And the purpose of uh, printing the sheet of hallelujah is basically to uh, tell your child this is a time we are going to be sorry for our sins and so what we're going to do is actually take our hallelujah sheet and just hide it under the sh on the sun so we're going to start to cover uh, our plate with sun and so we're going to hide that underneath so this is our the main purpose is to hide it in the sun so this is what we are going to do and uh, so it's basically explain to your child that we are now going to hide all this and we're not going to say hallelujah for the entire season of land so this is the purpose of it then start to line up your uh, candles and so that's what we're going to do. So begin to line up your tea light candle holders in the shape of a crucifix. So just start to do that. Um, you can use whatever shape you like to actually organize it in. Um, because we've got a need to it here. So we're going to do the best we can to, to line up all of them. Uh, or you could use seven because I thought seven is a better number. Uh, you could use, uh, I mean, you could use the the purple candle twice, one for Ash Wednesday and then for the first Sunday of Lent. Uh, but I just thought it would be a better idea because it might confuse my child. So I just thought it would be a better idea to use five candles uh, of purple instead of four. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, also, you can use two red candles if you want uh, for Palm Sunday and uh, Palm Sunday and Friday. So let's begin to line up our purple candles first. So we're going to start. So we're going to put one at the bottom here. So we're making it across a bit longer. I'm just going to take the camera a little at the back so you can see this. Yeah. Uh, so uh here's my first purple candle yeah then because my cross is pretty long it doesn't even fit in, into the, the steel plate so it's really big um or you can optionally just put your tea light candles without a holder another thing that you could do so uh start to lay down all your purple candles uh start to lay them down put your uh, white candle in the center the white tea light candle in the center uh, then put your red one here which represents palm sunday and then put your pink one here which is which we normally use for the fourth sunday of lent and it is called it is that Sunday is called the Literary Sunday. So that's what uh, we are going to do. Another feature of the Literary Sunday is also when we... Um, it's it's Literary in Latin means to rejoice. So it's like the time when we are getting closer to Easter. So it's a time to rejoice because now we have been repenting, asking God we're sorry. And so it's, 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 so it's like the season is absolutely changing. So we in the fourth Sunday of Lent we kind of rejoice. That's why we we have the pink candle or it's called the rose candle. Um, so that's what we use in the fourth Sunday of Lent. Uh, now this also has a parallel feature in 
the season of Advent, where we have a green candle, and it's called the uh, Gaudete Sunday. So that's what it is called, and that's that normally occurs on the third Sunday of Advent. Um, so there again, it's time to rejoice because we're getting closer to Advent. Um, so that that's the feature of the green candle in Lent and in Advent. In Advent, it is the third Sunday called the Gaudete Sunday, and in uh, in Lent, it's called it's on the fourth Sunday, it's called Lentari Sunday. So this is what we have, and we're going to now place our last purple candle right at the top there. Also going to put our our lady there. Get her closer. Yeah, that's better. And then uh, we're going to have a closer yes, right? So we're going to start with the story of uh, Jesus being tempted. Uh, with, we're going to support our story with Jesus because we're going to start this activity on on Ash Wednesday. So we're going to support the story. Um, with Jesus being tempted in the desert for 40 days and uh, because he was tempted in the desert for 40 days we, that's why we're using the, the symbolism of, uh, of sand where I'm, I'm absolutely using porridge but you can use the symbolism of sand to say Jesus was tempted for 40 days in the desert and so support the story this activity with the story of the story of temptation where Jesus tempted for 40 days where he went without food or drink and the devil came and tempted him and uh, uh, told him to do all sorts of things and then finally he overcome the devil and told him to just uh, to just get out and, and never to tempt the Lord God again and so this, this is the story which we use to support this activity with your children and it's a lovely activity uh, to support them. So the first thing what we're going to do, and I'm going to explain to you the lighting activity that we are going to use every Sunday. So because we're starting with the season, uh, we're starting this activity on Ash Wednesday. So we're going to light our very first candle, a purple candle on Ash Wednesday. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's light our first candle which we'll be lighting on Ash Wednesday. So here it is. Let's light it up. There we are. Then uh, after we've lit it on Ash Wednesday, the next candle we're going to light up on the first Sunday of Lent. So that's our next candle to be light. We're going to be lighting up. Then the second candle which we'll be lighting up will be on the first Sunday of Lent. First, the, our first one will be on Ash Wednesday and then be on the first Sunday of Lent. Then the, the third one which will be lighting up will be on the second Sunday of Lent. So let's go ahead and light that candle. Right. So let's light the next one. next candle which will be lighting up will be on the third Sunday of Lent will be again purple so we are actually lighting up uh, uh, purple candles over here yeah then our so we start with Ash Wednesday purple. Our first Sunday of Lent is purple. Second Sunday of Lent, the color is purple. Then comes the third Sunday of Lent. Again, the color is going to be purple. So we have got one, two, three, uh, already lit up, four candles already lit up. So then we're going to have a break, right? So Ash Wednesday, first Sunday, second Sunday, third Sunday purple right so that's that's pretty clear to all of us then let's go to the fourth Sunday of Lent that's going to be pink so let's go and light that one up so 
so are Ash Wednesday, first Sunday, second Sunday, third Sunday is all purple color. So now let's go and light up our purple candle. So a pink candle, sorry. So that's our pink candle, which is going to be on the fourth Sunday of Lent. This is a very special time in the church here because Latare means rejoice. It means um, time has come now near to uh, Easter and so it's just changing times. Um, this also has a parallel significance in Advent where we have a Gaudete Sunday and there again uh, we have Rejoice again. Um, so this, this uh, is a special time in the church calendar year. So this occurs in Lent on the fourth Sunday, while it's Advent it occurs on the third Sunday of Advent. So I hope you understand the difference where does this a pink candle occur, um, and it's also called uh, the priest. If you see at Mass, the priest will dress up in pink, and um, and it's also the, the the pink is known as the rose, like you know, it's like different color altogether from being purple. Then it's a very different color. So it's a time to rejoice. So this is a special time. So our fourth Sunday of Lent candle is pink. So that's what we need to remember. Then comes the our very fifth Sunday. So what do we do in the fifth Sunday? What color do you think would be our fifth Sunday of Lent? Our fifth Sunday of Lent color candle would be So that's what the color we're going to be using is purple. So I'm going to go to light my fifth color candle. So our fifth color candle is also going to be purple. It's a bit dodgy candle which I have here because I've used it before. So anyway, just ignore that. And so this my fifth color candle is going to be also purple. So that's what we are using in our uh, advent candle theme. Once we get to the fifth Sunday of Lent, then comes we are in the season of uh, uh, on Palm Sunday. So, uh, so we are now getting to closer to the season, and the following Sunday is going to be Palm Sunday. So there we will be lighting up our red candle. So let's go and light up our red candle. We can also use the same red candle to, if you want to let your child know, since we've turned Ash Wednesday. If you want to let your child know about uh, um, Good Friday, then I would suggest use the same red candle for Palm Sunday and then for Good Friday. So you could do that as well. So let's go and light our red candle now. So let's light this red candle. red candle and the red candle would be used for Palm Sunday or Good Friday so uh, it's optional what you like to do but I would use on a Sunday to Sunday because it's always easier for a child to understand Sunday to Sunday so that way so because my my son really looks forward to an activity like this and then you need to actually uh, then use the last candle which is the white candle will be used which will be lighting up for Easter so let's go and light a white candle which will be lit for Easter our white candle for Easter there I'm just going to leave it there because the fire is a bit dodgy so this is our 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 lighting activity which we're going to use for the season of Lent so our first candle is purple second candle is purple third candle which is again ash for second sunday of lent is purple third sunday of lent is purple uh, fourth sunday of lent is uh, pink fifth sunday of lent is purple and then comes palm sunday which is red and then lastly comes easter uh, uh, sunday which is white so this is our uh, our theme i hope i have said it right uh, first the purpose of hallelujah is when we get to Easter and we light our Easter candle, the white candle, 
um, we are actually going to pull out our our uh, hallelujahs from, from the tea lighting candle activity and then basically we're going to say now is the time let's say hallelujah it's it's Easter and so that's what we're going to do with our children come on let's say hallelujah and let's shout it loud so that's going to be something very nice to do when we get to the white candle and lighting up the white candle for Easter this is our candle lighting theme which we're going to light with our children every Sunday so we're taking them through the whole markers and all the seasonal blends so this is a lovely activity to do with them and they're just going to be enjoying it my son just says uh, let's do candle lighting activity or he says fireworks because he also loves fireworks so your child is just going to be enjoying this very activity with to do with you every every Sunday Another thing is what I want to say is when you do this kind of lighting activity, you need to actually uh, place it in, in the shape of a crucifix. Now, where do you find a candle lighting crucifix? You can uh, ask a carpenter to actually design your, yourself in a, a crucifix uh, shape candle, uh, tea light candle holder. So you can actually get that to get somebody to make it for you. I'll place a picture with my on my video for you to have a look what it actually looks like so you can actually um, get uh, somebody to uh, design you a crucifix it's very hard to find that I've looked over the internet and I could not find anything like that so you can get somebody to design a tea light candle hold in the shape of a crucifix and then you can do this lighting activity which would be very easy for you to do and it would actually be the Linda theme of a crucifix. So that would be really nice to find if you can find one. But I couldn't find one. So this is what I am actually doing it this way. Um, so that would be a fantastic idea. If you can get a crucifix theme of a tea light candle holder. So you can get that. If you, if you wish to get that or get someone to make it for you. Uh, so this is something which you can do in your with your children uh, another thing I want to draw parallel is that we use Mother Mary uh, in our candlelighting theme because she was there at the foot of the cross when Jesus died supporting him being by his side so that's why we have Mary and uh, when if I, I also post a picture of my uh, Advent candle lighting theme which I had done over Christmas so I'm just going to post a picture it's, I'm not going to cover a lot of Advent in this video but I'm going to post a picture of how I did that um, th this is our Advent candle lighting activity you need three purple candles one pink candle one white candle the three purple candles are used for the first second and fourth Sunday of Advent the pink one is used on the Godhead Sunday being the third Sunday of Advent and the white candle is usually lit for Christmas. This is the children's activity for Advent uh, uh, which has a lovely lovely Mother Mary with being pregnant. It's a pregnant Mother Mary statue which I bought over Amazon. Unfortunately that pregnant Mother Mary which you which the picture will post you're not going to be able uh, to find that pregnant Mother Mary because it's out of stock there are other other pregnant uh, mother mary which you can find on amazon and I'll, I'll post the link for you in the description box also uh, this is a beautiful golden candle star which i use in my advent activity if you are interested to get this from amazon i'll post a link for you to get this in the description box and if you also like to get advent candles in the colors of post the link for you in the description box so if you're interested to do the advent activity with your child you can do that as well uh, going every Sunday uh, because uh, the only thing is everything is purple uh, it's I think uh, three purple candles uh, one pink candle on the third Sunday um, so it's like four candles there and a white candle so it's very simple in in advent but I think it's a bit more complex in because we have a lot more candles to deal with so i'll post uh, the links for, for to buy those things on in the description box so you can actually go and get those things if you wish to um, 
so uh, in our advent theme we have the pregnant mother mary and uh, you can see that there again we're using mary to to signify that she is uh, she's there in length and she's also there in advent and uh, she's pregnant and so she she's going to be having a child in advent here she's there to support her child who's going to be dying on the cross and of course we have the crucifix here and so this is the significance of the whole theme that we are going to be uh, using in our video so friends ultimately uh, i'm going to be putting links to, to buy the tea light candle holders and also to buy uh, the, the tea light candles in the description box if you like to do this with your children you can do so uh, and i put some links for you to have a look in the description box and finally friends if you thoroughly enjoyed this video i would ask you to come back for more please do like share and subscribe to our channel